Hey. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I am like in my robe, in my comfort, whatever, and I want us to have a chat. But before that, let's take care of some things. Okay, now let's talk. Oh wait, before that, um, I've started on the laundry because today is Monday and Sheila is coming tomorrow and I would want her to put away the clothes, like hang them and fold them. So I'm doing them today. Uh, other than that, I want to have some tea. Let's go. This tea is so tasty. I'm already looking for those guys that I can just get my own bag. Let's talk food, okay? I've decided to change up on my lifestyle a bit. So, because this channel is new and there's new people here, you might not know that I have been vegan or rather I've been eating vegan for the past six years. Since Actually, like maybe a time like this because I know it was November when I started in 2014 and I Want to stop. Okay, not stop. I want to sort of quit So Six years ago I was living a mostly vegetarian lifestyle mostly vegetarian because actually it was more pescatarian you can look up the terms and stuff. Um, I used to mostly just eat fish. I would eat, I would hardly eat beef or chicken. And I had gone like for a full plus year without eating eggs. When I observed some friends and discovered they were eating, their eating habits were sort of different. I inquired, turns out they were vegan, told me about it, went, did my research. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. I tried it, I liked it, I was like, okay. I think I want to do this and see how it goes. And it's been great for the past six years. It's been awesome. However, I want to quit, as I mentioned. And the reason for this is not because um, I got sick or if anything, I got less sick in the time that um, I was eating vegan. I wasn't getting sick as much, but it could also be that I grew out of my issues. I am not a doctor, but I don't know how to explain that. The point is, in the past six years, my, sick, my illnesses have been mostly very surface level compared to everything else that I've gone through in like the 18 years before that. The reason I want to change this or yeah, like just change my lifestyle is cause, well, basically cause I want to. <laughs> There's nothing um, major or profound or an epiphany that happened or maybe not an epiphany, but what happened is last week I told you I was doing a juice cleanse over the weekend and as I was doing that I was reviewing my year back on YouTube because basically October last year is when I got back into YouTube consistently 
and I was doing a review of that, a review of how I feel, a review of my life where it's at, and a review of like just everything that's happened basically in the last year and in my 20s because I did turn 30 in August and because of that this decision was made. The decision is I want to experience my life differently. I've been experiencing my life in one way. I've experienced my life in various ways along my journey and at this point I want to experience certain things and I can't experience those things while eating vegan food. One of the things I want to experience are cultures and I want to experience different cultures like to their fullest extent which includes having their foods. Um, there's a time I had gone to Kisumu and was it no not Kisumu Kakamega and when we were going we went through different pit stops and I remember being in Eldred and thinking oh wow I would want to know what Mursik tastes like like just such a simple thing and I was like I'm just curious but it's made out of milk I'm not a fan of milk but I'm curious about certain things and now when I was doing my review and all that shit I was just like I can't experience these cultures that I want to experience with all the traveling I want to do. I know it might sound weird. I know it's weird talking about it given the situation and how everything is right now. But I'm the kind of person who believes in, I can still plan for things even if things don't look okay now. I'm, I choose to believe there's hope and there's a future and something's gonna happen and I'm still going to experience all these other things that I want to experience. And so that's why I'm talking about things like traveling because traveling doesn't even have to be beyond um, the borders of Kenya. Even within the country, there's things that I would want to experience that, there's things I want to experience that I can't with the current lifestyle I'm living. The other reason um, that this decision was very, very easy, the same way it was so easy for me to go vegan. I say go vegan, it's because for me it was just my food, it wasn't anything else. I wasn't like, I, I wasn't those people who are like advocating for animals or um, I don't even preach veganism. That's how. For me, it was just like, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to eat and I ate it. So moving forward, I want to shift. I'll still be primarily plant-based, like 80% of my food intake will be plant-based and I want to transition in the next two months. That way by the time like 2021 is rolling around, my body has fully adjusted. So 80% of my foods will still be whole meal, whole foods and plant-based foods. And then only the 20% is what will be like animal products. And even with the animal products I have, I'm going to be very, very selective with what I eat. I'm going to definitely eat uh, fish for sure um chicken here and there i'm not i'm not gonna do much red meat but probably once in a while some red meat and then i also want to include intuitive eating into my diet i know mostly people who use intuitive eating are people who are trying to get out of diets or dieting culture but for me i think intuitive eating is like a really really good way to just observe what you eat and how it makes you feel and only eating things that make you feel good so for me i'm not going to be like oh i'm just gonna eat this because i'm i'm not going to like actually go on a binge and sit down and like order everything or cook everything i've not had in the last whatever years and have it because when i was going vegan let's just use that word when i was going vegan um it wasn't something that I was like, I didn't wake up one day and was like, I'm done with everything. Because that's not how that happened. I have, I had not been eating that stuff for a while. So it's not something that I crave. or just, I, That's not how I operate. So I'm not going to like go on a binge and like sit down and do it. But one thing we are going to do together is we're definitely going to taste salmon together for the first time. And we're going to, I'm going to start experimenting with coffee if I like it. Because first, I'm, I'm just curious about... Like, maybe I didn't give coffee a chance. I'm a tea person. <laughs> but I keep thinking, what if what if I didn't give coffee a chance? Because I'm still I'm still gonna do my tea. But I'm still curious. I think I want I want to just see. And the funny thing is this: I've not thought of coffee in that way ever up until last week. And the reason for this is when I was cleaning out the the kitchen, I found some coffee grounds that Nick had brought from ireland like two years ago 
yeah when he'd gone he'd gone there for work he came with this coffee and it smells so good but like i was using it for like my skin and for body scrap thingies but never was i like oh let me make coffee and drink it and that's what got me thinking about coffee and i was like by the way where where and how did this relationship with coffee begin because the funny thing is my granddad has been a coffee farmer for like his entire life so it's it's i've, I've picked coffee I've, I've ground coffee we've done like the fresh like you dry it yourselves you grind it and I've, I've been around coffee i've just never cared for it and i was just curious and i was like what if you know what if i just i was just like just sit in the corner i don't want to talk to you for no reason and then maybe i like it or maybe at that point my palate was not sophisticated enough to handle coffee i don't know it's possible i was pretty young so anyway um we're going to go on this journey together and also i'm not going to eat things just for the sake of eating them that's where the intuitive eating comes from the other reason i also wanted to include intuitive eating is because of nick because he's also now um in this journey of intuitive eating because he was um it was suggested by a doctor let's just say that um to help him manage um his overall health he has to be very careful about what he eats how much of it and all that stuff so because nick is going on this intuitive eating journey i was like you know what yeah we can do that together we see how that happens so i'm not i'm not crazy about labels and i think that's one of the reasons why i never used to like be like oh yeah i'm vegan i would just be like oh i don't eat meat i don't eat dairy i don't eat animal products because for me it's food it's food oriented for me it's not about it wasn't about any other things like yeah i love animals i love all that stuff i'll never stand there and watch people slaughtering animals and all that me yeah, i'm just here to experience life here when i'm here which is now I'm, i i don't know if i'm going to come back in a different form if i come back as a chicken and they eat me that's cool that's fine i'm okay with that okay because i might also come back as an antelope and a lion eats me or a gazelle or something you you get my point like i i feel like it's a cycle that you can't you can't just stop it and i think that's one of the reasons why i was like people should just eat what they like and i personally love i love my vegetables i really do i love my plants and i'm gonna continue having those but i'm also just gonna dabble in other things here and there so as much as we'll be doing the 80 20 thing i'm also i'm not putting a label on it i'm just gonna be someone experiencing life because that's all i'm about i'm about experiencing life right now this is how i want to experience it like in my 20s in my early 20s i don't know if i've ever shared this story in my early 20s i was like oh i would never drink alcohol and then i turned like around 22 and i was using alcohol to because to at 22 is when i had my first drink ever and then it became this whole using it to mask my emotions and hide from shit and, and just escape from the world and it wasn't it wasn't helping because you do that and then the next morning you wake up and you're just like okay i never used to get hangovers but i'll just be like shit these problems are still here you know so at 24 well at some point i decided I wasn't gonna drink until I knew why I was doing it because I didn't know why I was doing it before. I was just, oh yeah, we went somewhere, I was like, oh, this is cool. And then it just became a thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna drink until I know why I'm doing it. And, and last year, like I'd had a drink here and there. There's one time someone actually pressured me into having a drink. They guilted me into it and I felt so bad after that. And I'm like, why would you? you know um and it, the worst part was like they were so proud of it like they'd done something good but for me when i went back home like the next morning i was just like why would you let someone pressure you into having a drink you know so anyway um yeah now i know why i'm drinking when i drink i know why i'm doing it i'm not trying to use it i'm not trying to use alcohol as a way of one being fun or having fun 
uh it's not my way like i know i can be fun with or without alcohol like that's my point and also alcohol not to mask anything i'm not using it to mask anything because that was the problem that i had i was using it to mask my emotions and hide from my problems and it wasn't i wasn't in a good place and it wasn't making the place any better anyway so it's the same thing now with like my food um i know why i went I went vegan and how it worked out for me and what was good for me and now I'm just going to start doing my eating my food and seeing how that makes me feel so much for checking out this video I'm going to end it here and please don't come in the comment sections telling me things you know those there's always those people with the random whatever's please okay this is a decision that I've made for my life you weren't there when I was going vegan so don't come tell me oh blah 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 so I am going to see you on Thursday with Nick with our conversation. If you follow my other channel, I'm going to see you tomorrow. For now, bye-bye.